It's good to see you, and you look great. So do you. I... Sorry, do we know each other? It's me, Mickey Munson. How's kid? Have I changed that much? You look... I mean, you look incredible. I'll take that as a yes. And a compliment? No, 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 no. I owe you a hug. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you, Nikki. It's good to see you again. You think you... Well, look what I hijacked on the way back from the little boys' room. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Henry. It's very thanks. nice. Sorry, I don't have any cash for a tip. Tip? What? Never mind, I'll get a credit card. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait a second. No, 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 no. You, you misunderstand. Uh, as much as I love servicing beautiful women, it's <clears throat> not my line of work, so... Do I know you? Yes, yes, you do. We uh, butted heads, uh, literally, back at the police station. Uh, I remember. Yeah. You're the guy with all the parking tickets. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry to introduce you guys. Uh, Nikki Munson, this is Henry Coleman. Uh, Henry's a good friend of mine. Munson, as in Chief of Detectives Hal Munson, Hal, Hal's daughter. Oh, Wow, I never realized Hal was so prolific. She's been out of Oakdale for a few years. Well, drink up, Miss Munson. Uh, <clears throat> that uh, Cosmo there is Citron infused. Why not? Well, technically, I'm not on duty. Well, technically, neither am I. To new friends. And old friends. So, catch me up on all the news. What's been going on around here? You first. What brings you back? Work. Work? Oh, I didn't know BRO was hiring new supermodels. <laughs> I'm not a model. Oh. I'm here to talk with Craig Montgomery. Do you know him? I know him. What do you want with Craig? Sorry, I can't really say. Be careful. That guy plays by his own rules, and when he gets caught, he cries. Blames everybody else. Sounds like a prince. Of darkness. <laughs> Sounds like you like, really like this guy. I wouldn't trust him with my pocket change. But yeah, Craig is part uh, Machiavellian, part the Donald, and the rest is just a bunch of hot air. It sounds like you know him pretty well. I'll consider myself warned, Harry. Uh, Henry, yes. Um, you know, <clears throat> I know all the names, A-list, B-list. Uh, I go way back with Craig, so if you need any help, you know, you can come to me. You mentioned being on duty. What are you doing these days? Well... Besides uh, just making the room that much more attractive. <laughs> Actually, I'm a special agent for the IRS. <laughs> You're not afraid of the IRS, are you, Henry? No. No, sir, me, absolutely not. No, I you won't find one cent unpaid to dear old Uncle Sam. <laughs> not that I would be looking. I'm not in that division anymore. What exactly are you doing? I'm on a team that investigates other cases. Uh, well, you know, Mike, we don't need to know her whole resume here. I was just curious. Yeah, well, she doesn't have to tell us about her job or why she's obsessed with Craig Montgomery or about her poor boyfriend back in Washington. There's no poor boyfriend back in Washington. Oh. What about you guys? Who's the lucky girl in your life, Mike? Do I know her? I'm not seeing anyone. Neither am I. You know, we're just a couple of carefree bachelors, so... Where's uh, Uncle Sam putting you up? The Lakeview? I wish. I'm at my dad's. Uh, how's that working out? It's great to see my dad. Yeah, so what does an IRS, IRS agent do for fun? Do they balance your checkbook? Or... <laughs> <laughs> I've been working so hard, I haven't had a chance to see anyone. The only two people I see are my dad and Emily. Huh. And so far, she's not my idea of a good time. Is there a problem? Nothing serious, just two women in one house. Well, can a cat fight be very far behind? You know what? I have the perfect the perfect cure for the stepmother blues. A night out. Hmm? Maybe many nights out. Sounds great. I'd love that. What do you think, Mike? It would be great to catch up on each other. Hey, uh, uh, Nikki, let me get you uh, another drink. You barely touched this one. Actually, I need to get back to work. I have to check in with the boss. Yeah, and I have to put some bids together. But we'll do this again sometime. I'll give you a call. Great. I just need your number to confirm. You can leave a message at my dad's. There could be an emergency, though. Because Mike, <clears throat> Mike works in a very dangerous job. There's always a lot of loose screws. There's a shoddy flooring. I mean, anything could happen. I'll give you my card. Great. We'll be in touch. This day's shaping up a lot better than I thought it would. 
<laughs> See you guys. We'll be in touch. <laughs> what's, 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 what's wrong with you? What'd I do? what do you do? At least you kept your shirt on. What? Come on, Mikey, we're putting on the charm. Mr. Bashful, Mr. Dimples. You thought I was coming on to her? No, I think you were trying so hard to try not to come on to her that it was disgusting. That's crazy, Henry. I'm not interested in Nicky Munson. Well, oh, really? Well, you better tell Nicky that, okay? Because I was working the mojo oh, there. Right. I had the Coleman smile going. Usually that melts ice caps, but today... She noticed you. I, yeah, like gum on the bottom of my shoe. You need more confidence. No, no, Mike. I need a friend who understands the meaning of the words, but out. Of what? Of my date with Nicky. Do you have a date with Nikki? No. No. We have a date with Nikki. You see, she's under the, the misconception that we're back in high school and we're just going to get into the little VW bug and go down to the soda shop. What do you want me to do? You want me to stop smiling? Not bathe for a week? Yes. Those are excellent suggestions, okay? Until then, why don't you just level the playing field, Mike, huh? Next time we have our big date and disappear.